What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video on Electric Talks. Hopefully you guys are having a good day whenever you see this. So today is the second to last day of 2020. Just got finished with a decently long run. Just wanna say if anybody's as excited as I am that, the year, that this year is ending, give the video a like. It is the end of December, almost the end of December. I don't even actually know when you guys are gonna see this video, but it'll probably be around the new year. And December has been, without a doubt, the most physically demanding, most grueling month in terms of training that I've ever had in my entire life. As you guys know, my goal was to ride 2,000 miles on my bike in the month of December, which would put me at over 17,000 miles total ridden for the year of 2020. So just in general, I did a lot of insane, crazy stuff this year. I'll go over that at some point in the video, but uh, tomorrow, I'm gonna go for a pretty insane ride. I'm either gonna go try to do 125 or 150 miles to uh, just end this year with a with a bang. <laughs> All right, you guys. So I uh, finished up with my run today. It went really, really well. I'm actually going to attempt to try to make homemade fish tacos tonight. And if you guys don't follow me on Instagram or you don't know, I love 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 fish tacos i already made my homemade pico de gallo which i've been making forever my friend brian turner and zach attacks fat were a part of the pico crew we both love pico de gallo we make it all the time but before i do that i'm going to be uh recording my next podcast with my uh with my good my good friend harry uh if you guys also don't know i started my own podcast called the strength to endure podcast we talk a lot about training health mental health a lot of all of those topics if you guys are interested in all of that want to know more about it check out the link it be down below in the description so i'm going to go record with harry and then it's time to make some homemade fish tacos Okay, so this is like this is like the moment of truth right here. I've never you guys don't understand my love for fish tacos. I've oh they're just they're just amazing. They're legendary, okay? I'm really hoping that these came out the way that I wanted them to come out. They look great, they look like fish tacos. Here we go. I almost wanna cry. Wow. That is a flavor explosion right there. Goodness gracious, this is amazing. Bro, for my first time ever making battered fish tacos, I gotta say I'm pretty happy with, with how this came out. I use tilapia as the fish. If I were to do it differently, I'd probably get cod and do cod or pollock. But yeah, I homemade the pico de gallo, did the batter. These came out legendary. <laughs> best tacos I've ever made by myself. So I'm stoked about that. If you guys wanna see more recipes, let me know down below in the comments. What oh, crap. All right, you guys, so here's the deal. It is currently, it's New Year's Eve. Oh. Yeah, today is going to be brutal. I, today, am going to be attempting to end 2020 with a bit of a bang. I don't even know what's gonna happen today. I'm gonna try to do a pretty long ride. Uh, the problem is I don't have, I got a flat yesterday on the road and uh, I do not have any backups in case I get another flat. If you guys know cycling, you'll know that if you get a flat on the road, you usually carry a either inflatable pump, either you carry a small hand pump or you carry a CO2 cartridge with a little nozzle on the top to reinflate your to and change your tube on the road in case uh, you do get a flat. And for whatever reason, when I changed my tube yesterday, I forgot my, either I forgot it on the road, which I doubt that I did because I never do that, or I just dropped it somewhere because I don't have it anymore. And the bike shop is not open right now, so I can't go buy another one. So basically today, if I get a flat, I am, I'm screwed. Fingers crossed, I don't get a flat. Let's get the final day of 2020 started. All right, everybody, so I'm gonna give myself seven hours 
provided I don't get any flats. Fingers crossed. We'll see how much we can knock out. Let's move. Uh, I knew what would happen. Uh. Ridiculous, man. It's almost like I, I predict when these things can happen or when they do happen. So many miles I did. I think I was about two hours into my ride. So about 38 miles. It is what it is. I can sit here and complain all I want, but I kind of knew the risk I was taking by going out without a, uh, without a spare. So Christy is making a coffee cake at home. Yes. It's actually in the oven right For now. New Year's. It's, so it's a barefoot Contessa recipe. So I'm very excited to try it out. So she can't taste it before she eats it and we're supposed to well, serve it. We've, well, I've never made it before and we're, my neighbor needed a dessert for tonight. So she texted me and I was like, okay, well, I've been wanting to make this recipe, but I've never made it. And we're not going to be able to taste it before we bring it over because I don't want there to be like a piece missing. Right? <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Well, it'll be interesting. We're going to have a little get together for, for New Year's tonight. So um, I'm bringing beer. Christy's going to bring a coffee cake and hopefully <laughs> the coffee cake is actually coffee cake. And I know a lot of you right now are going to comment and be like, dude, why don't you just, well, all the cyclists are going to be like, go tubeless. I already tried that. Got three weeks worth of sealant leaking out of my tires. The thing that blows my mind is that we're, we're literally driving through right now the uh, like the highest income area of San Diego. Like these are like five, six million dollar houses that we're driving past. And the roads are the worst fing roads really ever. This is what I call a pavement pounding. Boner. All right, so I'm about two and a half hours into this run, 17 miles down. I think it's time to try some of this Modex. Cheers, this one's for you guys. Ah, tastes delicious. Woo. It's like taking a shot of cherry juice. Two hours later. Well, you guys can see right there, just wants to focus. All right, so Christy got me a man crate for Christmas. I booked on you like a seven season Netflix binge. Thought that was great. And then it says, you are great. And uh, at least one person out of 7.4 million thinks you are great. You didn't even read it. Babe, you write two words in like the cards that you give me. So don't even, don't even start right now. I actually didn't write that. No, I'm actually a seasoned veteran when it comes to opening Wait, things with the, with the crowbar. Yeah, there you go. Season veteran. On the other side. Yeah. Ooh. Now when people come over, they're not eating out of Santa mugs or your eye poop can't go. I was born in 1993. I like the sword too. That's cool. Cool, babe. I like it. That's super cool. I got like lightning bolts because it's like that's actually really that's really cool. That was amazing. I love that gift. Okay, so here's something that I've been making. Actually, I shouldn't say that because I've made this once. But when I made it, it turned out absolutely amazing and I'm gonna make it again. Prepare for your taste buds to be blown. So what you're gonna need is one of those. You're gonna find out because I'm gonna bring you some. Next, you're gonna need some ready to bake pizza crust. And then what you're gonna need is some, uh, some fresh basil, otherwise known as basil. Mozzarella. Some of that. Then you're gonna need some pizza sauce. I do wanna say you can also add uh, turkey pepperoni, you can use regular pepperoni, you can use other meats or whatever you want. Uh, this is just what I'm choosing to use. Oh, shit. so what we wanna do here. Circle. Just like so. Just like so. Layer in some sauce. I forgot to say, you'll probably need an air fryer for this. Ideally, this is what we're we're trying to make is like little mini calabrese. And if you mess up, that's what the first one's for. All right, so this is what you're gonna see right here before you air fry them. Air fry them at 380 for about eight to ten minutes. 
I, I can't really call these calzones, but the air fryer can go off as soon as I start talking. Yeah, they, you can't really call these calzones, but they are they are delicious, okay? They are absolutely delicious. And if you use a fresh block of cheese, they will turn out cheesy. Ooh, they are hot too. Ooh. Hot. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. But Christy decided to get all dressed up. So, uh, like we said, we're going over to our neighbor's place, and Christy decided to just bake this amazing looking coffee cake right here. Like, this is. That looks bomb.com. We're also. I'm also going to be trying out the. Elzen Space Dust Beer, which looks beautiful. And I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of food over there. This cake looks absolutely phenomenal. Baby nailed it. A few moments later. Oh, is it? Okay. I love coffee cake, and this is, um, this is gonna hit, this hits, this hits the spot. We had too many beers. Just one. <laughs> All right, everybody, so by the time you're, you're seeing this, it's 2021, okay? The year of adventure, the year of deliciousness. Babe, do you wanna try this cannoli ice cream? Ooh, white chocolate sugar cookie. Mmm, that hits the spot, right? Mmm, mmm! been out long enough. Mm -hmm. So this is actually my favorite flavor of Ben and Jerry's. There's a lot of flavors of Ben and Jerry's out there that are just... Not good? No, I, I would actually say the majority of them are actually pretty good, but this one is just, it's its spectacular. I don't know what it is about this flavor. Marscapone ice cream with fudge covered pastry shell pieces and marscapone swirls. This is my favorite flavor with the exception of um, peanut butter cup. And I want to give a special shout out to Christy for turning me on in many different ways, but especially turning me on to uh, almond rucka. <laughs> what? <laughs> what, was that clever? Was that good? Oh, where you going Was that good? Coffee one. Frozen almond rucka is there. the best. You didn't know where I was going with that, did you? Ooh. Tomorrow. All right, you guys, so I just wanted to jump on here really quick and uh, just say thank you for all the support this year. Wow, this year was just crazy. I think I've gone over it enough for you guys and I've told you all how, about the craziness of December and just really how insane the holidays were, but I did some just insane stuff in 2020 because it's 2021 when I'm, I'm recording this. I got a lot of questions from you guys basically just asking, you know, what my goals are going to be for 2021 <clears throat> and what I have planned uh, just for, for this year. And, you know, right now as it is, I am actually, since it's the, since it's the new year, it's, it's 2021. I, um, I have a few goals that I'm going to be, um, I'm going to be setting my sights on. The first thing that I did uh, was just take a day off. Yeah, I, I, it's actually kind of funny because I got a lot of, uh, not a lot, but I've gotten a few people that were basically just like, do you ever take rest days? Like, why don't you go a day or a few days or a week without exercise or, you know, that's, that should be a challenge for you. And I always just kind of, kind of found that funny because like, I actually could not wait for December to be over just so I could take a day or a few days off. You know, people are going to think whatever they want to think. But uh, once again, I just, I kind of found that funny because like as soon as the month was over, I was like, oh, so glad to just be done with that month and really with uh, the year of 2020 because it's, it's really, it just starts over. You know, we have a new year and I know a lot of you are looking forward to this year myself included. First goal of mine this year, obviously, uh, the, the biggest goal is to, to do an Ironman. And I've said this a, a ton of times to you guys. I've talked about this so much in really, it, it doesn't really boil down to me getting in the pool and starting swimming. I mean, it does 
come down to the swim thing, but at, at the end of the day, 2020 just was not the year for me to uh, to do it, just because it was constantly getting postponed. It was really, there was just so much uncertainty, and not just with my Ironman, just a ton of other things as well. And so that's my that's my big goal of 2021, is to do my first Ironman. And I, I really believe in setting big goals like that. And um, you know, to, to me, that's a, that's a massive goal to set. I know you guys see me do these giant long runs and these bike rides but i don't really think people understand and myself included because i still haven't done one yet uh how um incredibly just insane doing an iron man is uh, i would I, I would say that trying to swim for i mean it's probably gonna take me at least two hours uh, but swimming for two hours I mean, at least two hours because i don't even know really how to even swim right now but swimming for two hours riding a bike for 112 plus miles and running a marathon all in a single day is one of the most intense things that I can think of. And um, I, I won't lie, I'm a little nervous about it. Um, I'm nervous even though I haven't even started swimming yet, but I, uh, I believe in myself and I know that sounds super cliche, but I, I, I know what I've already accomplished this year and I know what I've done. What 2020 really taught me is that, you know, what you think you're capable of, what you think you're capable of achieving can drastically change in such a short amount of time. Uh, I remember going into 2020, uh, training for my first marathon. Literally, this to this time exactly a year ago, I was training for my first marathon, and my first official marathon. And uh, at the end of 2020, uh, I ran seven marathons and did three ultra marathons over the year. Uh, actually, I think it was four ultra marathons over the year. It, that is something I never ever would have imagined I'd be capable of doing. And all it really took was me just giving it my best effort and just putting time in and consistency in. And that's where I got, you know. At the end of 2020, I ended up finishing, like I said, um, with those uh, the seven full marathons and then the three, maybe four ultras. I'll have to go check and see on my Strava. Uh, I ended up doing my first double century, uh, 175 mile ride, 150 mile ride, and uh, a few 125 mile rides. But what I'm really most, I guess, um, impressed with about myself is that I actually, I did 30 centuries over the course of 2020. 2020 was the year for me to really just just fully understand my my capabilities. And like I said, those capabilities can change. They can they can increase as long as you put in that time and that consistency in. Now, the way I'm going to break it down is the Iron Man is the big overarching goal. I have little micro goals underneath the Ironman. Uh, the first one that I really want to start setting my sights on is I'm going to be attempting to do an Everest. Outside of the double century, outside of uh, centuries, outside of all of those different types of things. If you guys aren't cyclists, I don't expect people to understand, but basically what an Everest is, if you can imagine it, is climbing the height of Mount Everest on a bicycle. So. Um, basically what it means is climbing a lot. And I used to actually really be a huge climber. That's all I really did was climb. I think it's around 29,000 feet. That's gonna be the first goal of mine moving into 2020. And then while I'm doing that, I'm gonna have to find a swim, swim coach here, assuming that pools are opening up and everything. And um, you know, that's gonna be the, the next thing on my mind. But that's that's really what I'm just setting my sights on right now. I know I've got a few of you asking what I'm planning on doing. And also another goal of mine is to just get back in. Um, I know I have, I have power blocks here. I have a little mini gym set up in my office. So I'm gonna start uh, resuming strength training again. And um, yeah, apart from that, I'm just working on creating great content for you guys, and especially on this channel, my main channel, a bunch of other goals as well. And I, I'm just a huge fan of, of, of just constantly setting goals and trying to do your best to, to get to those goals. And that's, uh, I know it's, again, one of those really, those cliche things to say, but that's just, that's, that's the mentality that I, I believe in having. And um, that's, what, uh, that's what makes me feel fulfilled. And I, I know I've talked about this before with you guys, but you know, with whatever you do in life, it can be anything, literally anything. Right? It doesn't even matter. Uh, and anybody can say whatever they want to say about you or what you do, how you think, how you look, whatever it is. But all that really matters at the end of the day is your personal fulfillment. And if you feel like you're doing everything that you can to live a fulfilled life, like I've said, I've, I've talked about that before, and I've grown to realize that that's really all that matters at the end of the day. It doesn't, uh, again, doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. It doesn't matter what anybody else 
says in a nutshell, that's just the way that I view life. And I felt so much happier viewing life with that perspective. If there's anything that you guys can take away from this video, that's, that's really it right there. Uh, but regardless guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like for me. Uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, and I will see you guys in the next Electric Talks video. See you guys.